Hello everyone. We are going to do the big tray mold today. I have to be honest, I've never been so nervous ever mixing up this amount of epoxy. So, I'm going to try to do a watch party in, over in my group if I can. Um, I don't know how to figure it out. So say hi if you can hear me. We're going to do neons. Some very, very bright colors. And again, I am, apologize, I am like nervous as heck. I was trying to hurry up as fast as I could. Mixing up all this epoxy. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Val. Hey, Val, if you're going to stick around for a minute, can you try to do um, a watch party over in Woody's Goodies for me? Make it so you guys can see. All these cups are taking up so much space, it's a bit hard. All right, I'm gonna just start putting these in. So since it's so much, I'm gonna do big scoops. And this one's fuchsia. And I'm gonna spritz it with alcohol in hopes that it'll break it um, down a little bit so I don't have to mix so long because with neons you need to mix it for a really long time to break it down so this is my hopes that a little bit of alcohol won't leave it all chunky thanks val thank you i appreciate it so much so who got the big mold I've seen one person post they already did it. I think they did it that night. I was excited for them. All right, so we got that one taken care of. We are going to do conniption fit. I'm just gonna tap of this one in. You might not need this much pigment, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Get my sprayer to spray. And as long as it doesn't look transparent when you pull it out, then you have enough mica, or pigment, I should say. And hopefully I can see everyone's comments because we did a live over in Woody's Goodies last night and uh, Facebook was being really weird and I could not see anyone's comments except for my own. Purple People Eater. Big poof. Let me go over here real quick and check something. I'm still mixing over here. I'm just trying to get on my computer to see if um, I'm missing comments because my phone's not showing anything. I'm missing a whole bunch of comments, you guys, so I apologize. Um, I'm spraying alcohol in the cup to break down the pigments. So, yeah, sorry. I'll run back and forth to make sure I don't miss anything. 
this will just help it break it down faster. We have sizzling heat. I'm gonna just tap of that one in. I think if you guys got a mold like this, I think our biggest fear is having the epoxy seize up. So that's why I'm trying to go as fast as I can. without looking like a silly person that's like crazy right now. It probably would have been easier if I only chose like two or three colors, but um, I feared we'd go a little balls to the wall. So a little bit of that alcohol is making it where it's not so clumpy. Cause if you guys have ever worked with neon pigments, you're usually having to mix for days because it just doesn't want to break down. All right, we got Mr. Boogity. Hi, Cindy. Oh, hi, two Cindys. <laughs> Good, I can see comments, so that makes me feel better. So that was a big chunk, but I still have tons in that five gram jar. My alcohol bottle is temperamental. Right? <laughs> I know, I'm so excited for this mold, and I'm like, yep, I'm just gonna choose quite a few colors. I need one for white, so I don't wanna forget that too. So I'm gonna try for a tie-dye. I have it a picture in my head, which means absolutely nothing when it comes to um, execution. So, <laughs> I'm gonna move these off to the side. Here's my smaller one. Thank you, Brittany. Hi, Kelly. And if I miss comments, you guys, I'll go back through um, once this is over and read and try to answer any questions. Now, I'm not sure how like the watch parties happen, if it's just um, I miss comments or if I can see those comments. So I'll check Woody's goodies too later. And if you wanna ask a question right away, then get over, if you're in Woody's goodies, get over to Bear Mountain Designs. So yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah, Cindy. I know, I haven't even thought about handles yet. I'm more excited about this. And for the last one, we're just gonna do some white dye. And white dye seems to be the biggest butt to get out of the thing. So I'm putting in quite a bit. And it also takes forever for it to come out. Okay, we'll see if that's enough. Hello, Jessica. Paige, it's the big old, um, I'll show you in just a minute. Let me get this last one mixed up. I think that's going to be good. Hello, Melissa. How are you doing? Um... Oh, you know what, I think I have that, but I just haven't tried it. 
Okay, let me get the big old puppy. I'm gonna move this. You can see my table is very much loved. Okay, the big mamma jamma. Holy moly. Okay, even though I have midget arms, this thing is massive. Like my whole arm fits in there. Yes, of course I am. I love my silicone mat. Um, I'm trying to think of what I could use to show you guys. I don't have a tape measure anywhere. So you could put like six of these. It's huge. For the bloopers. Oh, girl, you know there's going to be more bloopers. Okay, where, how do I want to start this? I think I will grab some gloves. That's how you should definitely start it. I have a fan going above me. I have my respirator just in case it starts bugging me. So um, be careful with this because you guys are mixing up so much epoxy. Okay. And this might be a multi-pore base because it is so big. And I don't think I'm going to fill it all the way to the top either. Well, I know I'm not today, but. Sorry, you guys, I'm organizing as I go to. And I. trying to get stuff out of my way so that way I can set up a rotation over here. Oh, yeah. Thank you for listing the tray. I'm just trying to get a little bit, not too much, so that's why I'm being slow. Like, too much like that. On to the purple people eater. And if my hands are getting in the way too much, I apologize, guys. I think I'm going to do white after every color. And... Try not to make too much of a mess. Hey, Teresa. Yeah, I was going to go tonight, and then I just figured I would have a ditch day at work. I shouldn't admit that to you guys, but obviously I'm not working today. Maybe I will later. I did fill orders, though. So that counts. 
but I just haven't filled jars. <laughs> and Teresa, you're the one that totally motivated me. And Danielle too, because Danielle did flowers over in Woody's Goodies yesterday and those were amazing. And then Teresa did an amazing um, cup. Sorry about that, got a phone call. Yeah, Mickey, I like that. This is definitely not a super fast process, but I just thought it'd be fun in case anyone did want to watch. I have my son's homework printed out on the table and I just looked over at it and it's covered in pigments. So, thank goodness his teacher knows what I do so she won't be shocked when he turns it in. Our schools in California just got um, another month. So they're not supposed to return till May 4th. And again, sorry, my hand's in the way. Yes. Oh my God. I can't wait to see what you do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tasha, ears will be like perfection. My live might just be like, hey, so this is what you don't do. We'll find out after. <laughs> Sounds about right for me. So this is like got its tie-dye feel. Um, I ordered some, uh, a light, like the little string lights and it's blue. And so it kind of has a black light effect. So when I do um, a second coat of this, I might do clear and throw those lights in there and then it will give it um, like a fluorescent UV black light look. And I'll look up for comments as soon as I get this white in. All right, am I missing tons of comments? And obviously we're not going even, but I just, I don't care. Yeah, the size is insane. Where's Megan at? Is Megan still watching? <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Okay, we started with yellow. I had to double check.
I guess I'll be lucky if um, the cups I have just do the first like little cover the bottom. <laughs> That's the way I think it's looking. And some of you guys know, because you've seen my lives before, I have the least steady hand of anyone you'll ever meet. If it comes down to like the apocalypse, don't let me be your surgeon. The good thing with thinking tie-dye in my head too is tie-dye is never perfect. I can tell it's running down and I know my table's not level. Oh God, Brenda, I have no idea. Okay, thank you, Cindy. I mixed up so much epoxy, there's no way. Mixing up this much epoxy, I have time to try to figure out how much is in there. Hold on, Indy. I just, um, my son just ran in the shop. Hey, babe, I'll come get you in just a little bit, and then we'll do the work, okay? okay. Thank you. <sighs> Gotta love how babies close doors. Too much, Aaron. Okay. <laughs> right? Slam. I can usually gauge which child it is by the way they close the door when they come out here. I don't know. Can you guys do that too with your kiddos? All right, what was my next color? It looks like sizzling heat. So Cindy, oh my goodness, I dried out flowers in the microwave last night because that was my plan. I wanted to do these beautiful daisies I had gotten last week for my birthday. And um, they were almost dry, but still a little damp. And so I didn't want to chance it because I talked to Sarah Ann last night and I was like, hey, can I do this? And she's like, well, there's a good chance your epoxy will turn brown. So I definitely did not want clear epoxy going all crappy. Let me get another piece of paper. Or maybe I can just use a popsicle stick. 
So you can tell it's like sliding down this way. So definitely my table. And if it wasn't like negative 10 degrees here today, I would be doing this outside. Yes, Sarah was saying the silica stuff works really well for the flowers. Um, where I live is the high Sierra Desert, and we are negative 57 for humidity. Like zero, none. Dry skin, so that's why I didn't think it would take that long to dry the flowers. I hung the rest of them last night, so they'll probably be dry, um, I don't know, a couple days. I just don't have patience. I wanted it last night. Okay, where am I? Pink. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that whole corner. And I hope you guys can see this well. I haven't been checking comments for that. I just have a tiny bit of white left. I'm using um, stone coat today because um, it's a little less expensive than KS resin. So I kind of wanted to use my cheaper stuff. Um, and so far, I, I really, it, I don't feel a single cup getting hot. And that's how you know your epoxy is setting up and um, you should quit pouring it because it will destroy your mold. It will destroy everything. So, so far this resin is handling really well. I'm feeling the bottom of my cups. They're not warm at all. Um, another good way to check um, is, whoops, if it starts getting really foamy. So it's a little foamy, but not a lot. So that's a good sign too. All right, did I use that one yet? No, oh shoot, I forgot that color. Oh, woo. Well. That was supposed to go after my yellow and it didn't. Yes, so I'm super impressed with that. I got a tiny bit. Just gonna try to drizzle what little bit of white I have left. Again, not a steady hand. Take my gloves off. Get rid of this message at the top of my phone so I can see. Are you guys seeing it all okay? I'm just gonna try to move it back to its original spot. All right. 
right. Get a new pair of gloves. Hi, Sarah. I'm glad you're taking a break from work for a minute. All right, I'm gonna go back through and just fill on top of where I filled. And sorry you guys, I just know my hands are in the way. Maybe if I could be a lefty. I have to go really fast being a lefty. I'm afraid my like Tourette's is gonna kick up and I'm gonna fling this cup. goodness Jessica I'm sorry I've had to do that when there wasn't a crisis and it took like 3,000 years it felt like to get through to a real life person does anyone else scream at their phone like I do speak to an associate totally me you guys screaming What do we got? The one I missed. Poofy. And I still think my white on the bottom is gonna show through, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna go ahead and put some over here too. And right here. And I have a naked spot. Okay, Mr. Boogity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Screaming. I'm glad I can see your guys' comments now. I told Teresa last night, you might see me throw a huge tantrum if I can't see comments. Because if you've ever done a live before, um, it really helps to kind of calm you down because it is nerve wracking to um, see comments and see what people are saying. And getting all this epoxy poured to start with and I was trying to go as fast as I could um, with the fear that it would start setting up I'm, I was extra nervous this live, but so far this epoxy, like I said, is just doing great. Loving it. Okay, that's atomic. Let's see, we're sliding back down. I'm gonna get another popsicle stick. Okay, go back to your home. There you go. And I did find baby wipes on Amazon, you guys. I ran out and I thought, meh, doesn't hurt to look. And yeah, they had, they had tons of baby wipes. So y'all need this, this mold. If you don't have it, I should be on pause while you are over at Tasha's site buying it. 
and you might need to go to an epoxy site and then buy epoxy after. How cool is this going to be though? It'll be like amazing for gifts too. Okay, fuchsia. This one, I just looked at it. It's bubbly on top, but again, my cup is not hot at all. And I'm gonna mess with this a little bit once I get these, all these colors poured in here. I don't want this much epoxy to go to waste, but then I'll start zigzagging. And we'll kind of see how that looks. And I'm gonna hit it with heat in the hopes of getting cells too. Getting every last bit. Sorry guys, I knew, like I said, I knew this live wasn't gonna be a quick one. Okay, and then we're back to start over again. All right. Um, I'm just gonna grab any color, it's not gonna matter anymore. Just get the little tiny bit I have in each cup. I'm sorry, I'll look up for comments. As soon as I'm done. My goodness, a little hippie van. That would be cute. The hippie van to match this. Oh my goodness, that would be adorable. I have so much epoxy all over my table. No idea, Danielle. A lot. I can weigh it once it's cured. I had some clear leftover. 
So I'm just gonna mix it in my white. I thought if there was an emergency and I needed clear for anything, I was gonna set some to the side. So sorry, you guys can't see me, I'm off camera. Um, just mixing in the white. And again, getting every last drop I can. Since this mold takes so much, you just don't want it to go to waste. Okay, got that cup. Let's see, hopefully it's not like a translucent. I have no idea, Sherry. I was thinking actually the, the bottom of the mold will be the top, but the great thing about molds, you know, once it's said and done with, if I like the top better, then that's the way we're gonna roll. Okay, look at all these problems I'm having. Hot mess express. Okay, stop. Stay in your corner. And I don't care about that, making that mess. And I realize I'm missing some of the colors, but like not going in between every one of them. I'm not even close to filling this thing. But I'm going to take off some gloves. I'm just going to clean up my little mess real quick. Okay, I'm going to take you guys off and then I'll put you back on and I'll move it around. Look how much further I could fill it to the top. Like, I probably did a fourth of it. It's probably a fourth of the way. It is a thick, thick guy. But that's good. That means it's sturdy, too. Okay. my Another fear of mine right now is if my phone pops off this thing and goes in there. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think my insurance would cover that. <laughs> All right, how do I want to use a torch? Um, I had, oh, there it is. Okay, let's see how I want to do this. Hey, Kelly. No heat gun? <laughs> that would be called an epoxy daddy. You need an epoxy daddy. My, um, my cousin is a soap maker. 
like I am. And so we have matching cuffs that says Soap Daddy um, Wanted. We just want him to buy our soap supplies. Molds, fragrances, micas. So if it isn't um, looking this cool on the bottom of it, then this will be the top. My psychedelic tray. I'm just gonna lift it for a minute. Okay, no heat gun, is that what you said? It wasn't gallon, so don't worry. <laughs> now let's see if we can't get some cells. And I'm just gonna put on my uh, respirator. Since I'm heating up so much, so sorry if I sound muffled. And I'll probably be popping the bubbles for the next probably 45 minutes. There we go. Wasn't very strong. I'm getting um, some lacing, which is looking pretty neato. Now I'm just messing with it. Just lifting it up, seeing what kind of things it's gonna form. Yeah, I'm sure you can use a heat gun. Danielle just told me not to, so I thought I'd listen to her. <laughs> I'm pretty easy. No, I think a heat gun would be fine. You just don't wanna focus so much in one area because you can also burn your molds really easy. And if you burn your mold with epoxy in it, then it ruins the, then the epoxy just doesn't come out of it. Danielle, you would be so proud at the mess I have with um, baby wipes. I'm just cleaning up because I was throwing stuff over here. My mess to the side is crazy. So be prepared, you guys. Especially if you use a lot of colors. Okay, so what do you guys think? Peggy, I will, like everyone that's asking how much epoxy I used, I'll weigh it after it's cured. Um, and I'm also going to do a second coat. So, um, where did I put them? So, once this starts setting up, I might just do a clear. Um a clear coat 
or actually once it's cured, because I want to see the bottom of it and see how that looks and see if I like that better. Because if I like that better, um, then I'll put these lights in. So, and these lights really bring out the fluorescent UV. And I thought that would be cool too. Set that off to the side. Yeah, you guys, I'm so excited. Thank you for letting me go live in here. I won't, I won't waste any more of your time. And um, thank you so much. Rainbow, yeah, you could do rainbow ink. See, and look at my mess over here. The stuff I've been hiding from you guys. <laughs> I'm honest about it. So here is where we're getting lacing. Um, let me see if I can't, what does that mean? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna turn this off and see, so that way there's not too much of a glare. See, with all that white, it's kind of like lacing out and creating cells. And as epoxy artists, we love that stuff. All right, you guys, I'll keep you posted and, um, and yeah, happy, whatever day it is, Wednesday. <laughs> I, I'm glad you are, Danielle. I'm glad I did that just for you. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>